guys welcome to my channel so a couple of days ago um, well last week and the monday before i posted a couple of puppy videos about our little puppy ralph he's a whippet and on one of the videos that i posted somebody requested if i could do a what's in my puppy bag video for days out and things so i thought for today's video that's what i would film so some of the things are probably pretty obvious and most people maybe take out when you've got a puppy but i just thought i would do a quick what we take out with us when we go on a day out we actually went to nutsford on saturday and got a lovely national park tatton park it's called she's great for walks he had the best time there was so much to sniff it's on a beautiful lake, so there's a big walk you can do and Nutsford Centre itself is just really nice to walk around. We went in a pub for a drink, it was his first pub visit actually and he was a very good boy. I think he was quite tired after his walk so we just slept on money. Anyway, I'm just rambling now so I'm just going to get into the video of what, we, what I take in my bag when we go out. I already used to take a lot of stuff for myself on a day trip and now that's just become quite a bit more with the puppy. I can't imagine what it'd be like with a baby. I hope you enjoy watching the video. If you do, please give it a big like and let's get into it. So the first thing that I'll mention that I've mentioned in a couple of my previous videos is we try and stick to his routine. So his breakfast, lunch and dinner routine. So if we are going out for the day, if we leave at like 10, 11 say, we will take his lunch out with us so we can have it at the same time whilst we're out. As I've showed in my previous video, I would measure out his food, leave it in his bowl and then just cling film it and put it in a bag along with the slow feeder that we have. So that's the first thing that I would take with me. Of course, this is something we'd leave in the car. I wouldn't be carrying this around in my bag, um, but we've got it on hand for him to have his lunch. So the next couple of essentials that we take for his walks are his harness, his lead and his little coat. So this is the harness we have for him. Uh, it's from Pets at Home. It is a size, I want to say it's a size small. He's had this now probably since he was about 12 weeks. So that still fits him, he's 16 weeks now. So that's come in really handy. We also recently bought him his name tag. It's not showing up the best on there, but it's got his name on and then a little picture of a whippet and then our address and number on the back, which I didn't actually know was a legal requirement when I Googled it. If you're taking your dog on a walk, they must have their name tag and address or phone number. This is the little coat that we've got for him. Again, this is from Pets at Home. I wanted one that was fleece lined um, because whippets don't have very thick fur. They, they get cold quite easily. So this one's nice and fleecy for him in size. It's nice and soft and it's just really easy to put on and off. It's just Velcro and there's one around the neck and then one around his body. And this is size small as well. It also has the good reflection on the jacket if it's dark and then this is the lead that we have for him so we got this off amazon a really nice sturdy lead it has one long handle here and then a bit further down it has a shorter handle so that you can have control of them um, when you're walking on payments and things you will definitely need some poo bags while you're out so I generally just take the roll in the car and then tear a few off to keep in my pocket. We have a little treat bag. So this has just got some of his favourite treats in, a bit of his usual kibble. Just still teaching him some tricks and doing some training while we're out and about on walks. So that comes in really handy when he's being a good boy. Two other things I would say are essential for me anyway when we go out on a walk is his doggy towel. So we just have this grey towel. It was from B&M. But that's just really handy to have in the car, especially if you've been on a bit of a muddy walk and got muddy paws. You can just give them a bit of clean or if they get a bit wet and things like that. We also have a water bottle for Ralph. I haven't got it on me right now. It's actually in the car, but I'll insert a clip of what it looks like. I'm sure you've probably seen it before, but they're really handy. The top just kind of folds out and you can squeeze the water into it. So it's like a little portable bowl for them to drink out of. And then in the car, we have a crate in the back of the car that he goes in. So that has a bed in it, a black blanket um i'll take his lamb with us that i've mentioned in a previous video it's got a heartbeat and he sleeps with it and i'll also take one toy just for him to chew whilst he's in the crate something like his donor or a rope toy he is really good in the crate in the car he pretty much sits down and goes to sleep the majority of the time every now and then he might have a little cry when he first goes in it but once the car starts moving he quickly will lie down and go to sleep just a few tips on taking him in the car 
when we got him as a puppy we knew that him being good in a car was going to be a massive thing for us because we go to Wales a lot in the summer so from when we first brought him home we took him out in the car on very short trips every single day just so we got used to it and um, just five minute journey around the block at first we just sat in the car with him and had the engine on just to get used to the noises and he is absolutely fine in the car so it could have just been luck or it could have been that that helped. Just two more little things. I have my own Mary Poppins bag full of all wonderful things to keep you organized. But I would say with a puppy or a dog, essential is hand sanitizer and some tissues or wipes. You can get dog wipes as well. I just find you end up picking them up or with mud on you or yeah there's always a reason when you need tissues and hand sanitizer i did just want to mention as well we are aware that puppies can't walk on massive walks we don't take him on really big walks we might plan a half an hour 40 minute walk with him and we might carry him some of the way as well often he is raring to go and you can see he really wants to walk but if at any point he does look like he's stopping or he's not interested anymore we will just carry him the rest of the way this doesn't happen very often often when there's other dogs and there's so many things to sniff on fields and leaves flying around it's the most exciting thing in the world but we will carry him we are conscious that we don't want his muscles to live there to develop too quickly. We will also try and plan the day around him a bit so we might go on a smallish walk and then go to a pub where we know we can take dogs or I will always check first. But yeah as I mentioned earlier he went to his first pub on Saturday and he was so good. He loves kids and other dogs. He's very sociable but I think he was so tired after his walk that he just sat on my knee nosing around at everyone and then fell asleep. That was a lovely experience and it was nice to be able to for us to do something as a couple and be able to take Ralph with us. There are so many places now as well that accept dogs, shops, restaurants, pubs, trains, trams. So yeah, sometimes I am surprised, like you can take them into Costa Coffee to order. You can't sit in, but you can take them into order. You can go in Wilkinson's. There is quite a few restaurants that I know of and pubs that allow cafes and things that allow dogs. So whatever area you're in, I would just have a look up online. Yeah, you might be surprised. Something I've done more in recent years as well is take a rucksack with me. I do like nice bags, but for practicality, rucksacks are so much easier. So much easier to carry. The weight is just nicely distributed on your back and you can just fit a lot more in it so i would say take a rucksack on your walks at the moment he is 16 weeks old so we don't take a ball out or anything yet which obviously we will in the future he loves playing fetch in the house but we haven't yet let him off the lead we are still waiting to do this oh let's mention we have just bought a new lead this is off amazon i will look everything i've mentioned in the description box as well we've ordered this really big lead i'm not sure exactly how long it is but it's supposed to be great for um recall training giving them a bit more freedom and then calling the name back um all the time and then rewarding them when they come back to you but yes i'm sure at some point we will also be adding balls to this rucksack list and my last important tip is to not forget treats for yourself so if you are going out now i always pack a picnic or some snacks at least for the car journey or when you're getting back in the car after your walk because i'm always starving so take your crisps take your biscuits whatever it is you want don't forget to take things for yourself as well to make it enjoyable. So if you got this far in the video, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Just a bit of a quick video on the things that I take out. If you did enjoy it, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you in my next video on Monday at seven. Thanks guys, bye.